I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Brahmins, and welcome back to another day. I just wanted to give you some reminders. Tomorrow during homeroom, teachers, we had a meeting yesterday about the new PSAT and its rollout. One of the big things we need to administer is the digital readiness check. So tomorrow, it's a weird day anyways because we're on a pep rally schedule, but what's going to happen is your kids are going to report to their second hour you're going to take attendance and then you're going to get an all call to report to their testing rooms. So right now, if you have not given your second period students their information of what testing room they will be in next Wednesday, I need you to do that. Why? So that tomorrow they know what room they're going to. SAT and PSAT days are a full day shutdown. The majority, if not all of our kids are testing. So please make sure those students know where they're going because... Friday, during second hour, they're going to go to their testing room and we're going to try administer this new digital readiness check to get the students ready to see if the internet works, <laughs> to just figure it all out. So I know that that's kind of a crazy day tomorrow, but just be patient with us. We're going to try and see what works. Tomorrow is our pep rally day. So make sure that you are pink out, get in the spirit head to toe, whatever you need to do, not only to show Brahmin pride and be excited that we are here, but also to support that breast cancer awareness. Um, because as a Brahmin family, we want to support the people that we love, people that are hurting, people that even we can support just through what we show and how we present ourselves. And then don't forget, we have a varsity football game tomorrow night. Uh, wear your pink out then too. That's all I got. All right. Good morning, Brahmins. Today we're looking forward to our JV game today. Not yesterday. I apologize. You guys should know better than to trust me anyway by <laughs> now. Um, today we're, we're looking forward to our JV football game in Sebring and our volleyball game in Lake Placid, both starting at 6 tonight. Um, don't forget, again, like Miss Hurst said, that tomorrow is our pink out game. So make sure you're, you show up at the game all decked out in your pink um, to show your support for our team and breast cancer awareness. Have a great day. Hey, if you didn't need enough reason to come to school tomorrow because it's Friday, it's game day, and it's pep rally day, this, that's all I'm going to show you is this. Um, you good, Ms. Goggins? I'm sorry. I'm good. That's it. Um, so yesterday, guys, you started signing up for the PBIS event that's October 11th, and there were some questions. Um, just to clarify, if you want to do float building, um, that is outside of the normal float building that you may have signed up with Mr. Suarez, where he, you know, you had to turn in that permission slip. This one is designed strictly during PBIS. Um, again, you will remain in the gym the whole time. There will be food. There will be drinks. Uh, there will be fans to keep that gym cool. So again, if you want to sign up for float building during the PBIS event, that's five additional ramen bucks that you need. You need 10 just to attend the PBIS event. Uh, some students said that they might not want to attend the PBIS event. Well, then you will be in another classroom waiting until the event is over. So again, this is a reward day. If you have a ramen bucks, I really encourage you to sign up for the PBIS event. Have fun, be with your friends, create memories. There's going to be lots of activities. There will be a cornhole tournament that you sign up with a team. It will be you and someone else um, to consist of a, a team. Um, and remember that you must not have any referrals since September 27th until the day of the event. Um, if you receive a referral at any time during that time period, you will not be eligible to attend the PIS event. So if you have any questions, please let myself know or Ms. Goggins. And I don't know if anyone's going to be able to talk to Ms. Goggins time tomorrow. I would love to see you try. Have a good day. All right, Brahmins, make it a good one as together we move forward.
Be great. And be Brahmins. All, All day. day. Hobie has provided youth leadership development across the United States and around the world for the past 60 years. Founded on the ideals of identifying a high school student's own leadership abilities and cultivating their understanding of how to apply those skills to their community and the world around them. has impacted over 500,000 students. Hobie Youth Leadership is life-changing experience for young people to think beyond themselves, develop needed life skills, and to improve the world around them. Girls Weightlifting will begin Monday, October 9th, 2.30 to 3.30 in the weight room. You need to have final forms completed and I have a physical. Please see Ms. Tremor in room 6219 if you have any additional questions. Thank you.